We have heard of the occasional fish, tadpole and even spider raining down the skies. But diamonds? Unfortunately, this miracle is not happening anywhere on Earth, but over 830 million miles away on Saturn and Jupiter. At least, this is what planetary scientists from NASA seem to think after conducting extensive research. The result of which were presented at the 45th annual meeting of Division of Planetary Scientists that was held in Denver, Colorado from October 6th to 11th, 2013. According to Dr. Kevin Baines, the leading research on the project, over 1000 tons of diamonds are being created every year on Saturn. Given that the ring planet is too far away to actually see this phenomenon, the initial reaction of this is skepticism. But the scientists say that his team's conclusions are rooted in the basic principle of chemistry. It is a well-known fact that about half a percent of Saturn's atmosphere comprises of methane, also thanks to images sent by NASA spacecraft Cassini, which has been orbiting the ring planet since 2004. Researchers know that Saturn is susceptible to giant lightning storms and even hurricanes. Using this information, Kevin and the study co-author Planetary scientist Mona Delitsky deduced that the lightning burns up the methane that is present in the atmosphere and transforms the odorless colorless gas into something we are all familiar with, soot or carbon. As clouds of the black carbon are raining down the planet, they clamp up together and form graphite, which gets subjected to intense pressure from the atmosphere as it gets closer to the planet's core and transforms into shiny precious stones that we lovingly call diamonds. While Jupiter's atmosphere comprises of only 0.2% methane, the scientists believe that a similar phenomenon occurred there too. But before you try to get the next shutter out there, you should know that thanks to the extremely hot core of both these planets, the diamonds do not stay in solid form too long. Scientists believe that these diamonds melt when they are close to the planet's surface, where the temperature exceeds 8000 Kelvin and are most likely transformed into other materials. Not all scientists are convinced about this new study. University of Arizona planetary scientist William Hubbard think that due to the relatively low amount of methane in the atmosphere of these two planets, not enough soot is produced for diamond production. He thinks that whatever little is created is destroyed by increasing pressure and high temperature encountered by the soot at its falling. This is not the first time that scientists have speculated about diamond rain. Uranus and Neptune are long known to be diamond treasure tropes. Not only does their atmosphere comprise of 15% methane, but also the temperature does not get over 3820 Kelvin, which is the melting point of diamonds. This means that the precious stones that fall are most likely to be spread all over the planets, just waiting to be picked up. Let's hope that one day our skies open up as well and sprue out the shiny stuff too. Well that's it for this video guys, hope you liked it and please share this video to anyone who is in the dark of this topic. Also subscribe to our channel because we will be coming out with some more awesome videos like these in future. So see ya.